tax people. So tax breaks. So if that is the purpose, that is not very, it's a good work, it's not genuine gift giving. There is no selflessness in that. So you have, due to either you know it or you don't know it, so that is how. But some other people, they do generously give, but they don't care about the name, but the only thing they wish, they do, they think that they are happy, they become very happy seeing that the children are benefiting. I have seen a place, a very huge building, library, including quarters, whoever likes to learn about religions, they can go to the place and retreat, and week or so, even more, only thing you have informed to the people and make connections and then you go and you do the studies. For that purpose, somebody has offered to a university, big building, including a library. So that's for religious studies. People who are looking for right path, as what we call as noble searchers, truth seekers, they are still in the world truth seekers. For them to find their own path, this person has donated. But nobody knows who did. Anonymously, the person has. I, when I saw that one, I was very happy. That is real selfless giving. It is not for the purpose of boosting your ego, putting your name up there, and just to get the uh, publicity. That is a kind of selfless giving that if we can do, that's nice. But you know our weakness, human weakness, that we always when we do something, we want other people to know. It's in our mind. The desires are there. People want to see all I do. So I'm also proud. See what I did. We just show. I announce it. So uh, in a way that Whatever we give, we have to, if we can give, and enjoy, be joyful in at your heart, that is selfless, joy of selfless giving. Not to show off to the other people. None of these things are to be done for as a showcase. Sometimes in today's world, there may be some people who go and Maybe especially you can invite, okay, I won't give dana for 100 months. Most of the time when we call giving for dana, we think of months. So, but when we do that, you sometimes you announce all around. It's not quietness. You can, it's a good thing to invite other people to take part. But do what you can do. Bodhisattva never did anything he cannot do. He gave what he can give. And what he, without discrimination, he gave. But sometimes he did discriminate. Because the recipient, depending on who is receiving this. Suppose you are giving something to money. When you give something to money, you give something that appropriate for us. Uh, something to your friend, appropriate to your friend. Something to your children, appropriate to your children. Something to your wife, something appropriate for your wife. Likewise, you know, they are thinking and balancing it out what is appropriate. Even to your friends sometimes when you give. And we have to pick up certain things that are appropriate. Suppose now you feel like in Boys After Stories, he had never given anything inappropriate, for example. What could be an appropriate thing? Does anything come to your mind? give anybody what could be as good as what could be inappropriate. Giving a weapon. Right? Giving a poison. Given even intoxicants. That is not appropriate. Because it's causing illnesses. So therefore we have to really be thoughtful what could be the appropriate for me to give this person. 
if it is a sick person, still, you can take care of that person. Then we had appropriately, suppose you are going to visit a friend who is not feeling well in the hospital. So you can make something appropriate for that person. So therefore we have to think carefully what are the things that we have to give to other people. And suppose now you're all in able position, so you see some people who are in poor conditions. So when you see them, you won't help out. Them. When you do, what comes to your mind? You have compassion is there. Sometimes some people could be very arrogant attitude comes in. Because these are poor, you are at really high level. It's, we have to be careful with what kind of attitude that we have. Really balance. All these things we can balance our mind, mental situation. So balancing now, then we have to do the We can, when we give that, the person can definitely we know poor person can benefit. But we all have to be careful. We have to provide something can really benefit for the person. Not sometimes we give things that we don't use. Because I don't need it, it's also can give. But definitely you have to mention that. I have some old thing you know that I'm not using anymore to you if you like. That's being genuine that we are not using. Therefore, you don't want to waste it. Still, person may, somebody may, can use it, definitely. So, not, you are not giving because you cannot use it anymore, you don't like it anymore, you have something new, therefore you are giving. That also, not appropriate, but definitely have to balance it out. Mentally, you have to think carefully. And, and when you give that way, also, if you are giving it to somebody, Suppose now, so-called poor, but there's another way you can give to that person. Different, not only material. Definitely we do material, and we, as we are giving material, compassionately as practicing Buddhist, you can think, if we could educate this person, why we are poor? There could be reason behind, not only one reason. There are also one element that, you know, in Buddhism we talk about unwholesome karmas. It says, if we do more and more unwholesome karmas, that would cause the poverty. We become poor. People who do bad karmas, not one thing, in many, in our samsara we might have done lot of bad karmas. So when we come together, there are sometimes there are certain types of cycles go in very poor conditions. Depending on what conditions were there, we could have a into that power level. Uh, so if we could make that person giving material support, if we can get educate the person to come to spiritual level practice some spiritual, good spiritual practices. That could be helpful. So what you do, you are helping the person, um, giving some solutions for root cause of the poverty. I don't know exactly what, but still, if the person, if you, if they, if you can stop somebody from wrongdoing, wrongful thinking. All these things have to be correct. That is the nature of Kalyanamitta. Being a Kalyanamitta, you are helping this person. Not only material, but also giving some guidance in the life. So that way, in another way that we can call that Dhammada. So not only material, by giving materially what we call it, it is called Amisada. Um, is material things. Okay. So, material things.